Today we're taking a quick look at the Max Tote from Imsy Wallace. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Nicole. And on this channel we talk about everything from product reviews, bag reviews, and more. So if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing. If you are a subscriber, don't forget to click the little notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos are posted. So today we're going to take a look at the Max bag from MZ Wallace. A couple of weeks ago I unboxed this and I have since been using it and absolutely loving it. Um, and I wanted to show you guys how I have it all packed up some of the features and my favorite way to pack it. Of course, I will link to everything that I share in the description box down below, along with a affiliate link to shop MZ Wallace with me. And if you do, I definitely appreciate and love your support. So thanks. So let's go ahead and jump right in. All right, let's go ahead and start with what comes with the Max Tote. The Max Tote comes with this large bag, has like a plastic zipper. It does have the really pretty hardware, which is that leather, Italian leather pull with the silver MZ Wallace logo. Um, and then it has a little D-ring here on the side, so you can clip it to the key leash inside the bag if you'd like. But it is an extra large size, and um, Lee, over on my previous unboxing video, said that she thinks it's because you can, you can actually like fold down the Max Tote and put it inside of the bag to store it. So. Anyway, this comes with the bag, and um, the bag also comes with a crossbody strap. I have it connected here on both sides. It's a really high quality. It again is going to have the silver hardware along with the really nice Italian leather and the red trim. Um, just really nice, and of course it's adjustable right here. So on the front of the bag, you have the MZ Wallace logo cut out here, and right behind that you have a little pocket. And in this pocket, I keep my cell phone, and then I also have a lip gloss, and it's way down at the bottom. This pocket actually goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag, so there's my lip gloss. All right, on the back of the bag, you have the same little pocket right here on top, and in here I have my Touchland hand sanitizer. The vanilla cinnamon scent is so good, guys. I'll put a discount code um, here on the screen for you. Um, and that's all I have in that pocket. In the back, you have a little luggage sleeve, and in here I have my planner. This is from Rad and Happy. You do have a magnetic closure right here, so you can use it as a pocket like I was. Or like I mentioned, you can actually unzip it right here on the bottom and use it as a luggage sleeve. While we're down on the bottom of the bag, you do have four little leather feet along with the MZ Wallace logo right there. You also see the leather detailing on the tote handles, which is really, really pretty. I love this strap drop on this bag. I think it fits perfect right on my shoulder. Um, I'll put that here on the screen for you. And then of course you do have the D-rings um, on either side to connect the crossbody strap. On the top of the bag, it zips closed with a plastic chunky zipper. And look at the inside here. You actually have a lot of extra space. So if you do need to overstuff the bag, um, the zipper expands so that you can fit some more inside. Let me go ahead and tip the camera down and we'll take a look at how I have it packed up. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive right in. I am using a bunch of pouches to pack the tote because um, there's not a lot of internal structure and you'll see that. Um, the very first pouch is a mica pouch from MZ Wallace. And inside here, I just have a bunch of snacks for my kiddos. I did want to tell you guys, these little um, made good granola balls are so good. My kids love them and they are nut free and they're organic. So these are awesome. And so is the pouch. Um, the pouch is in black and it has black hardware along with the red um, edge paint there, which is really nice. The next pouch I have in here is from Aloha Bags. Aloha makes these Tyvek pouches and they're super cute. This one is obviously in the leopard print with like the hot orange zipper. And in here I just have all of my med supplies. Um, and like my bug bite thing in case we get mosquito bites, some sprayable neosporin and all that good stuff. But these bags are super lightweight and I love the chunky zippers on them. They're really, really cute. I'll have a full review of them coming soon. I have a second one and in here I have all of my potty training gear. So I have my, I have a full package of wipes. I have my all over ointment if in case she has like a diaper rash or something. She is potty trained, but um, I still carry a wet bag in case we have soiled clothing, we can toss it there. And then my 12 little mouse pouch just has post-its for the sensor on the auto flush toilets and then a little potty cover. And I love this because you can hang it on the bathroom stall if you need to. 
So that is what was in the Aloha pouch. Right. The next pouch I'm going to pull out is from Lily Jade. It is a small pouch and has all of our essentials for COVID. Um, I also have some activities in here for my kiddos. So I have masks for the whole family. I have these little soap sheets. I also have um, a little simple dimple hiding over here, which is a great, really inexpensive fidget toy for kids. It's one of our favorites. And then some coloring pages, a boogie board, and a play pack. And I love the Lily Jade packing cases because they have a clear front. So it's easy to see what you have inside, which I love. All right, the very last thing in the bottom of the bag I have is my Mara phone sling from Dagny Dover. I'm using this as my wallet and kind of as my grab and go. And in here, I just have another little card case from Dagny Dover also. And this just has like my important cards and cards that I use every day inside of it. Um, and then in the actual phone sling, I have some cash in the back pocket, my reward and loyalty cards. There's like a little loop here. Um, and then I have this disposable potty cover. I like this one because it's extra long and it has a couple of adhesive strips on it, so it will not budge. It is awesome. So this is what I'm using as my wallet. This is what I'm using as my wallet for the moment. The last few things I have in here, I have a full package of sanitizing wipes um, from Me For Kids because COVID, right? Then I have my keys and on my key ring, um, a couple of things have changed since it is COVID time. I have my little fob, of course. I made my little um, resin key ring. I have my Oventure no touch tool. This is great because it opens doors. So if you are going to like pull a door open, you just hook it around the handle and pull. It's great. My Oventure ring and then my little fob and I just keep my AirPods inside here and they look like that. So that's what's on my key ring. Um, attached to the key leash inside the bag is my lippy clip, which I love with this bag because the navy blue in the clip is brought out perfectly. It looks so pretty um, and you can actually snag one of these on my website. Organization that the bag does have are these two pockets that are trimmed in the Italian leather. In one pocket, I have more hand sanitizer and a pin. <laughs> and then in the one next to it, I have my favorite hand cream. And then I also have my rechargeable battery for my cell phone. On the opposite side, this back pocket is set up just like the other pockets from MZ Wallace. Um, it has that leather trim around it. And inside it's going to have two separate slip pockets and then like another extra space. So in the big space, I have all of my favorite lip products that I carry with me. <laughs> I have this little disinfectant surface cleaner. And then in the two slip pockets, I have bobby pins and my foldable hairbrush. And then in the one next to it, I have a flat package of Kleenex and a lip balm and another lipstick. <laughs> in front of the leather trimmed pocket, you do have a little slip pocket right here for a card um, or whatever else you may want to put in that. But that is how that pocket is all set up. So I did want to make note that the zipper pull on this pocket is a little different. It's that silver MZ Wallace logo. It's really, really pretty. All right, so that is how I had the tote all packed up. Now let's fold it down and see if it fits in that, that pouch that it came with. So there you have it. I folded it down and put it in the pouch. That's exactly what this bag is for. Um, you can also use it for shoes or for, you know, whatever else, an extra set of clothing for your kiddos or what, whatever you might need. Um, but yeah, that's how I had the Max all packed up. All right, guys, so that is it for the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see all of you guys again in my next one.